Hi, and welcome back to Sana Simple Baking. Today, we're gonna to be making Swedish saffron buns. Let's start. This is our ingredients and our baking tools. Take your pestle and mortar. Pour in one gram of saffron threads and one tablespoon of sugar. Grind together until it is a powder. Take a plastic container and pour in the saffron powder. and a half a tablespoon of rum. Mix together and let rest for 30 minutes. You can do this the day before. After 30 minutes, take a big bowl and crumble in 50 grams of dry yeast, Then pour in 500 milliliter of room temperature milk and one teaspoon of the saffron paste. Mix together until the yeast has the salt. Then add 175 grams of soft butter and mix together with your hand mixer. I use the dough hooks on the mixer. When the butter is very soft, pour in a half a teaspoon of salt and 200 grams of sugar. In another bowl, pour in 800 grams of flour. Then add the flour into the saffron mixture a little at a time. When all the flour is mixed in, I started hand kneading the dough to make it more compact and less sticky. And I used around 60 grams of flour while doing that.
Now the dough is all done. Cover the bowl with a towel and put it in a hot area for one hour. I put my bowl on the stove. After one hour, the dough has risen. Put some flour on the table and press the dough out of the bowl. Knead the dough a bit. And then cut it into smaller parts. I cut mine into four parts and put the other three parts on the side, under a towel. Pour out some more flour if you need. And knead the dough a little more. Roll the dough into a tube and cut a piece of it. This will be our buns. So if you want small ones, cut a small piece of dough. I wanted bigger ones, so I cut a bigger piece. Roll the dough out into a long snake and then roll each side into the middle of the snake in the opposite direction, forming an S with spirals at each end. Do it again until all the dough is formed into little S-shaped buns. When you have filled your baking tray, cover it with a towel and leave the buns to rest for 30 minutes. I had a bit too many on my baking tray, so I put some on a new parchment paper. We don't want the buns too close to each other because they will get bigger in the oven, so leave some space between them. Brush some beaten egg on top of the buns. And 
and then put them in the oven on 437 degrees Fahrenheit or 225 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. I put them on the top shelf in the oven. When done, let them cool down and then put in the next batch of buns in the oven. These are my Christmas favorites. Hope you will like them too. Leave a comment down below so I get to know how it went for you baking this. Don't forget to subscribe and if you click the link down below, you will get my top 5 baking tips. See you next time. Bye!